now that we've added some files into our drive, we can now start making folders for those things. And we can also start to move those things around to organize all of them in the way that we want. Uh, the easiest way is if you move to the upper right hand corner of your drive, uh, this little list view over here, it's next to the settings gear, next to the details exclamation point. If you click that, it actually will toggle between uh, your list view and grid view. So this is all of my files in list view, and then it lists my loose files that are not in folders below that, all in alphabetical order. Uh, but if I click that, and then changes it to grid view, I prefer grid view just because it gives you a preview of what those loose files are, just in case you're not exactly sure what's in there. This way you can see them kind of before you really even click into them. It also gives you, when you're in grid view, uh, a lot of blank space that allows you to right click in. And then it gives you kind of the same exact options that you have if you were to click new over in the upper left hand corner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call this sample drive folder. And then I'm gonna click create. So I could have done that, and you'll notice that it comes populates over there in alphabetical order. I could have done that from new in the upper left-hand corner where that blue button new is, and click new folder from there. Or I can just find some blank space in my drive and click right-click and click new from there. From here, I can right-click on this and I can change the share settings, uh, right-clicking on it, clicking share, and then clicking advance, or now it's only I can access. I can click change and change this to anyone with the link or anyone at Pensbury or anyone at the Pensbury with the link can view or edit those things. I'm going to put view only and I'm going to click save and then done. You'll notice that it's shared because it has a little person figure on the file folder. So some of mine have that, some of them don't. Uh, so this one here is I know it's shared because it has that little person on it. From here, if I right click on it, I can move this to somewhere else. I can change the color to color code them. I can also rename that folder from here. Uh, I can take this folder and if I click on it and then drag with my mouse or my trackpad, I can then move this and place it into another folder if I wanted to. So if I want to put this into the sample share folder, I can just hover over that and you'll notice that it outlines that folder in blue. So wherever I'm hovering over, you'll know that it's droppable. Uh, and then movable into that folder by that folder turning blue. I'm actually gonna come back over here, just let that go. And now what I can do is I can move files into folders and I can do that from here. I can click on my things to do and I can drag that and I can hover over and I can just let that go and it'll move in there. But I can also select more than one file at a time. So if there's many files I want to pick, I can either click if they're all in a row, click and drag, and they'll highlight as I go, as I click over top of them. If they're not in a row, so if I had another file here, if there was one in between, I can hold down the control key, which is the CTRL uh, on most of the district laptops. It's the bottom left-hand corner. I can click on that, and then I can click, left click on that folder or file, I can then go to the next one and I can click that and it would select that as well. I can then pick random files by just holding down that control key and then clicking. Once I let go, I can then select and click and drag like I was before. And you'll notice that it says I have six things that are gonna move. And if I highlight over top of that, it would move those six things. Uh, so for our purposes, I'm gonna come back through and click off these two and then drop them in my sample folder. You'll notice that this you get this kind of error message and certainly an error, it's more of a notification that as you move these into a shared folder, it will then take on the shared uh, settings of that folder. So any of those files would then be shared the same way that that, that folder is set to share things. This works out really well when you make a website and you wanna share items on that website that other people you want to view, especially parents at home. They don't have Pensbury accounts, so you would wanna set that share folder, which I'll come back to. I'll right click on here, click share. And right now it says anyone at Pensbury can view, 
I would want to change this to anyone with the link can view. This way parents would be able to see those things when I post them on a website. And then anything that's inside of this folder would automatically take that. I'm actually gonna back these out real quick. If you happen to have a folder that has multiple folders, so I'm actually gonna just jump in here real quick. I'm gonna make a subfolder. And inside of that folder, I'm gonna make another subfolder. And I'm gonna navigate back out to my drive. And let's say I wanna put this into subfolder one. I could click here and drop it, and it's gonna go inside that folder and then click and drop it again. But I can come over to the tabs on the left. And as I hover over top of these arrows, they'll bubble down for me. So my drive bubbled down into all of my folders. I'm gonna to go to sit and pull drive folder, hover over that, it will bubble down. And then I can see subfolder one, and then I can also see the other subfolder. So if I just hover over that, it's highlighted in blue, I can drop that directly in there. And if I wanted to put the history slides presentation to the other subfolder, I can drag that and it will put it into that folder. This way you don't have to kind of click and drag multiple times. You can use these little arrow bubble downs on the side to get to the folder you really wanna to get to and then click and drag those directly in there. And that's going to really help you to organize your drive, which will be beneficial once you learn how to use Classroom Insights uh, and sharing stuff with people. That way you can access their files and they can access yours rather quickly and easily.